Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. Some supporters of the People Democratic Party and of the Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, has berated the United States President Joe Biden over the announcement of a presidential delegation to attend the swearing in of Nigerian president elect Ashwajibola Ahmed Tunubu. Many world leaders, including head of state, have been invited by the Nigerian government to grace the Tenobu's inauguration. The former Lagos state governor will be sworn in as the 16th president of Nigeria on the 29th at the Eagle Square in Abuja. Also expected at the nation's seventh tradition ceremony are past presidents, diplomats, heads of international organizations, and prominent Nigerians and representatives of foreign government and agencies. Joe Biden had in a statement released on the White House website on Monday, the 22nd of May, announced a nine-member delegation for the event. The statement said the delegation, which will be led by Secretary of the United States Departure of Housing and Urban Development, Mashiaf L. Fuge, represent the commitment of the United States to strengthen ties and maintain diplomatic relations with Nigeria. Other members of the presidential delegation include David Green of Charge the Affairs, the AI United States Embassy in Abuja, the Honorable Sidney Kamal Gadov, United States Representative in California, the Honorable Marisa Lago under the Secretary of Commerce for International Trade. United, United States Department of Commerce, General Michael E. Lagley, and Commander of the United States African Command, the Honorable Enoch T. Ebong, Director. However, some supporters of the Labour Party and the P- presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have taken to the microblogging platform Twitter to condemn the actions of the United States President. They also described the delegation as weak, adding that the Vice President Kamal Harris of Secretary or, or Secretary of the State Anthony Blinken should have led it and below are the reactions. He came off said it shows what these people don't mind good to Nigeria and Africa as a whole. This is why Putin of Russia are fighting them to finish to finish to the finish. It will not go well for them. Biden announcing presidential delegation to Nigeria, and that is why his government will never know half peace. God is watching. Flora Diaspora said, Biden sending delegation to witness May 29 inauguration is indeed a proof that the United States are ready to uphold their pragmatic philosophy in politics however they see it fit. They don't care of consequences as long as their interests are protected. I see why Middle Eastern nations resent the United States. Festus Kayamo said, The United States had had Tunubu for fit monies linked to heroin trafficking. It said it would deny visa to Nigeria electoral offenders in 2023. The United States is aware that the top most beneficiary of that offended election is Ashwajibola Ahmed Tunubu. Yet, Putin of the United States will send delegates to honor it. Who is the United States to Nigeria? Perhaps the Putin of the United States should have sent the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development to represent him at King Charles III's coronation. There is no respect for Secretary Fuji. This is an honor. Official or Progressive Congress APC and the INEC Nigeria has brought upon Nigeria, a drug dealer in the United States as Nigerian president. I heard DJ Akirele said the US love or Tinubu presidency won't less anti imperialist governments to worry about. Ashibaju Bola and Tinubu will do their bidding and allow them to further extend their new Liberia policy in Nigeria especially when they have a lot of debt on him. 
James O said, so the United States actually go with someone that did not win because of the bad electoral process INEC imposed on Nigerians. This is too bad. Tony King has said, which means that the United States of America government has right to set to set Biafra land on fire. Bidding, I hope you know what you are doing. Musa Yakubu Mustafa send, said, sending the United States Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development to such an important event is an insult to the government and people of Nigeria. It is like oh, sending Baba Tude Raji Fashola to the house to the head a delegation to a United States presidential inauguration. Royal Deakin said, His Excellency, Peter Gregory Obina was right after all. The Western nation do not want anything good for another nation. They just want to keep perpetually at their mercy. Chukwe Mekakins said, Can Joe Biden be this hypocrite ASAP? Steve Anke, how on earth can this news be true? The announcement comes a few weeks after Chimamanda Adichie in Nigerian novelist wrote to the United States government expressing dissatisfaction over the process of the presidential election conduct on the 25th of February. In the letter, she alleged that the presidential election was marred with discrepancies, discrepancies and irregularities which she claims were shown by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC. Adichie had asked Biden to upload to uphold his stance on the need for a true democracy, adding that congratulating Ashwadubola Metunubu, who has hastily announced as president, a Latinishes America's self-proclaimed commitment to democratic processes. Adichie said Joe Biden she asked Joe Biden to uphold his stance on the need for a true democracy. She said that the election were not only read but also insulted, also insulted the intelligence of Nigerians as there was no legal action to issue of evident manipulations reported. It, in a letter, she alleged that the presidential election were, was marred with discrepancies and irregularities which she claimed were shown by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. She said congratulating Ashwajibola Metunumbu who was hastily announced as president-elect, tarnishes America's self-proclaimed commitment to democratic processes. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your opinion and your thoughts via the comment section below. Bye for now and I will see you on the next news.